Hey fellow watch fans, I don't know when this movie starts or not. I wanted to show you the uh, the new Citizen Grand Touring in blue dial with a bigger crown protector. Makes it play like a 46 on the wrist. Now it's advertised as being a 44 millimeter bezel, but it really does play like a, uh, a 46. Johnny Casual over at Johnny Casual Enterprises has a saying that I'd like to apply to this watch. He says, sometimes you want to get a, uh, a grower, not a shower. And I think this is a grower. I took it out of the box, and I liked it, but I wasn't quite sure that uh, blue didn't quite pop the way I wanted it to. But then when I put it out in the sun, oh, I was rather happy with it. The more I wear it, the more I'm liking it. So I have a feeling it's a grower. This represents Citizen Watch in the... $800 ballpark where they're making some really nice luxury for people who find seven and eight hundred dollars to be the sweet spot and uh, this does have a screw down crown which kind of surprised me because the uh, charcoal uh, Citizen Grand Touring does not and uh, the, I like the charcoal because it's sort of monochromatic quality is very appealing but I, I do like the blue as well and uh, my collection is currently at 10 watches. I've been doing my best not to buy watches. And in the last week, I kind of came to the resignation. I am a watch collector. And, you know, there are all sorts of collectors out there. People collect swords. People collect knives, guns, Star Wars, toys, uh, Star Trek toys. And I'm a watch collector. And, and I think I understand it. It's... The stress of daily life crushes you, and you need to find a respite. You need to find an escape. And secondly, when you start to learn about watches, sapphire crystal versus mineral, and professional grade super luminova, and surgical grade stainless steel 316, and various types of crowns, I just think the more knowledgeable you become of a uh, watch, the more interesting and fascinating it becomes. Then there's a whole history of watches and the very different tiers of watches that people have in their collection. And uh, I think I'm just resigned. I just love watches, and I'm just going to try to be moderate in my uh, collecting. Now, the watch that started it all, as I, I've shown you before, is the Echozilla. And I've had the Echozilla twice before. Not uh, In addition to this one, I've had it on the stock steel bracelet. And I also had it on the uh, the one made by Super Parts over at Benares. And I sold them. And I have to tell you, uh, last night I had a dream that I had the Echozilla on the Super Mod with a Shark Mesh 24 millimeter bracelet. And you want to guess what my next watch is probably going to be? What configuration is probably going to be? Uh, so I'll probably get the same Shark Mesh from Strap Code that I got for this uh, Seiko... Fieldmaster SBDL021. Now notice that this is advertised as a 48 millimeter watch. And it doesn't look any bigger than uh, my brand new Citizen. Citizen, uh, to me, this the uh, the Citizen looks like a 46, 47 millimeter Omega. Seems to be some kind of an homage to Omega. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying the video. I, I've had a blog called Herculage with a Manly Watches uh, sub-blog on it for nine years, and I'm starting to feel that the blog may not really be a sign of the times anymore, a sign of the zeitgeist. I, uh, I see video is the new connection for people who share similar interests, so we'll have to see how that plays out. Well, in any event, I, uh, I'm looking forward to... Uh, Trying to do some more videos, trying to get a little bit more comfortable in front of this screen, and I will talk to you guys later.